Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Ninja Foodie two-in-one flip toaster. So this is a really nice, it's got like a little oven you can use it, but then when you wanna use it as a toaster, you simply just flip it up. That's a really cool feature. Now when it's flipped up, this is just a regular toaster. It's got extra wide slots, you turn it on, you can set how much, how dark you want it, the shade of your toast. You can do toast, bagel, or defrost. And it's got this big lever. You, when you want to put your toast in there, just put it down and then it'll pop up automatically. You can even set, it'll show you the time that's remaining on the toast as far as what shade of darkness you want. And there's the type of heating coils that are heating up in there. So say you want to stop it early, just press the stop button and it stops. Okay, so let's look around back. It's got this hinge mechanism. So the base is always going to stay there, but it does hinge up and down. It's got a three prong cord. Now it is 120 volts, 60 Hertz, 1,500 Watts. So when it's flipped up like a toaster, you do have a crumb tray right here that comes out. There's where your crumbs are kept. So this is the little cooking pan that comes with it. When you first get it, you do have to screw this handle on, screw the handle on. Now the display will change automatically. When I flip it down, it will be for rapid oven. Now, when I want to use this as an oven, I do have to depress this all the way. There's a lock indicator. I've got to push this all the way down to the lock indicator and lock it. Now I can insert my pan. It just slides right in there. I can do bake, broil, or reheat. If I do broil, it just heats the heating, the top heating helmets. Bake does both, reheat does both. I can do temperature. Now, the time is whenever it starts. So I can go all the way up to 400 degrees. Hit start, now that's the time. So, and now I can change it. So, and once you get below, I think eight minutes, no, nine minutes, it goes, or 10 minutes, it goes to 30 minute in increments. So seven minutes, six minutes, that's when I can change the time. Now, so let's say I wanna stop, or it will stop automatically, but I can stop it with the stop button. And again, this slides in and out real easy. Now, when I lift this back up to be a toaster, that's when it releases this. Now when it's a toaster, that's how I activate the toaster. And I gotta press, I gotta press the stop button to get that to release. Okay, so let's cook one of these French bread frozen meals. It says 375 degrees for 20 to 23 minutes. It also does a really good job with these little miniature pizzas too. Okay, first thing you're gonna do, lower it. Then you're gonna lock it. That's why the screen says lock. You gotta lock this handle all the way down. Now I can insert this. Let's do temperature, 375. Hit start. Now I can do the time. I'm gonna keep it right at 12 minutes. I wanna check and see how it's doing after 12 minutes. Now while it's cooking, this does get a little hot up here, so be careful, but the clock, that's gonna be your countdown timer, so it's at 11 minutes now. And what's really nice about this is I can check on it really quick. So say I want to check on it and it starts, as soon as I put it back in, it starts automatically. Okay, so let's take a look. It beeps at you, it tells you that it's done. Ooh, that looks really good. Wow, this thing does a really good job. Okay, so that took about, I had to add two more minutes. So while it was cooking, I was checking on it. I did end up adding two more minutes to it. That's delicious. So it's faster than an oven. Okay, so let's cook some toast. Again, that's got like a non-stick surface. This is dishwasher safe. Okay, let's flip it up. Let's add, and again, that handle came up. Now we can add, use it as a toaster. So these slots are pretty wide open, but I'll measure them. So maximum is about two and a half, but two is right about where they maintain. But again, you can go a little bit. These do kind of mash apart. So about two and a half. Then lengthwise, you're looking at right around almost 10 and a half inches. Okay, so let's put some toast in there. You're simply just gonna put, place it in there. Pick your shade. I've got it on toast. I want three, and you're just gonna put it down. Now, it's gonna tell me the time that's remaining. I can't change the time there. That's based on the shade that I selected. And again, if I wanna stop it prematurely, I gotta hit the stop button. But when it's done, this will pop up automatically. And it's cooking the toes. There's about a minute. Okay, so it popped up. There's the toast on three. Again, if you want to help lift it up, just use that lever on the side. 
you want to lift the toast up a little bit more, but I like it's pretty evenly done. You know, I might try two next time. That's pretty well done. Okay, so when it's in toaster, you're about six, almost seven inches front to back. But when you go to oven mode, it's going to be at 12 inches, even though, you know, the base of it is just 11. You still have to leave it that far back because when you lift it up, that's where it ends up. Left to right, you're almost, almost 15 and a half, 16 inches. And height wise, you're about eight and a half inches. So having a toaster that converts into an oven with this like little cooking tray, this is a really nice product. I'm very happy that I bought it. It, it cooks the pizza really quick. I hope the video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.